Welcome to We Build It, We Break It. Today, Malia and I are gonna make the biggest, most unbreakable pinata worthy of an unbelievable birthday party. Then, Hutch and I are going to be completely crushing their so-called unbreakable pinata. This is going to be the biggest bout of pinata destruction since Hutch's last birthday party. What happened to Hutch's last birthday party? <laughs> well, it turns out that hanging the pinata next to my mom's china cabinet was a bad idea. And it was also a bad idea to fill the pinata with change instead of candy. I had coin-sized bruises for three weeks. Really, really glad I was sick that day. Well, if you guys thought my birthday party was destructive, then buckle up, because it's time for a prolifically powerful pinata pile up on. We build it, we break it. The first question is, what kind of pinata are we gonna build? I did some research. And here's our three options. This is a traditional Mexican piñata with seven points. What do the points stand for? The seven deadly sins. That sounds a little intense. There's also the traditional Chinese piñata from the 13th century. Those are usually oxen-shaped. What about that one? That's the modern piñata. Today, they're mostly made to look like fun shapes or characters. Mm, let's do that one, and we can make it into a fire-breathing dragon. That would be awesome. And we can use green tissue paper to give it that dragon look. We can use orange streamers to be the fire. And if the breakers manage to break through the fierce exterior, I guess we'll have to share our candy with them. Mm. Ooh, let's get building. So, usually, you destroy a pinata with a stick, but we can do better than that. So, a super big stick? The builders said their pinata was gonna be unbreakable. So, we're gonna have to think outside the box. Box? Wait, Kaden, great idea! Could you hold up the box for me? Sure. See, pinatas are built kind of like cardboard boxes. And you can punch a cardboard box. So, what if we just punch the pinata into oblivion? Pinatas may be built like cardboard boxes, but they're way more intense. So we're gonna need some intense fists, like, oh, a super big metal one. It could be like a nice metal glove. Awesome, then we can punch your pinata to pieces. The break zone has never seen super strength like this before. Building an unbreakable pinata is no small task. Which is why we asked Alexis, a pinata building expert, to come on down and assist us with our mission. Thanks for having me. Today we're gonna start with the general construction of the pinata and then we'll move to the dragon part. So follow me. Looks like our dragon is made up of seven different shapes. Exactly, so we're gonna take all seven pieces of cardboard and shape them into the shape of our dragon. How are we gonna make the shape of the wings? They aren't quite perfect triangles, they're a little curved. We're gonna cut the cardboard, so let me show you. This is for you. Thank you. Scissors. So we're gonna cut along these edges and kind of bend them a little bit so they're flexible, you know? So we can make the wings and the body. So fold them up before you cut them. You wanna make sure the edges are really crispy. <laughs> Perfect. Go ahead and start cutting right on these edges all the way through. Okay. But be careful because I want your fingers to stay on your hands and not in the pinata. <laughs> Once you're done cutting, they bend pretty easily, so we're gonna bend them into cylinder shapes. Is that how you do it? Oh, that looks perfect. Thanks. When can we do the tissue part? Well, you guys are gonna help me make the dragon green. Ooh. So we're gonna cut little slits in the streamers, and then I'm gonna wrap them around the cardboard, and we're gonna tape them, okay? Okay. Would you like to go first? Sure. It's gonna look good when it's all green. <laughs> It's gonna look so fun and festive. This dragon is coming along nicely. Whoa! Hey, Sean, let's add a few more orange and red streamers to the mouth. Yeah, because he weaves major fire. Last one. Ta-da! 
This looks amazing. You guys know what time it is? Candy time. This is awesome. Let's dump it in. This piñata is so awesome. There's no way this dragon's going down. I think our candy is safe. I wonder what Hutch and Caden are cooking up. <laughs> It's not just any piñata, it's a dragon. A dragon that breathes fire, to be exact. Wow, what's inside of it? I guess you'll have to wait and see. That is, if you can break it. Oh, we can break it, all right. Check out our weapon of destruction. This is our supercharged Knight's Fist punching machine. Just wait until you see it in action. This is way cooler than a piñata stick. And all you have to do is pull this handle to unleash the punching. Yes! Last one to the break zone's fire-breathing dragon bait. Get ready to meet your maker, Mr. Dragon. Three, two, two one. one. and keep the ashes for good luck. I'm not sure our studio is zoned for burning. And burning down the studio is not good luck. The modern tradition is to recycle the pinata after you break it. We could do that. Yeah, and recycling's good luck too. Well, we'll see you guys next time on We Build It, We Break It. <laughs> 